If you clicked on this video, it is quite likely you are a nerd because as my family members and friends tell me, they say that I should make more uh, attention grabbing, clickbaity videos that will gain me more subscribers, more followers, instead of those niche videos about philosophers and thinkers that nobody knows about. I have to be honest, there is a grain of truth in what they say, but the purpose of this channel and the reason why I launched this channel was to find like-minded people who enjoy those niche and important ideas that can improve our lives. And for this reason, I thought I'll make a video about a couple of passages that really touched my heart, that have the sp same spiritual intonation that my soul has. And the passages that I'm going to talk about it come from this book about uh, philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein, who was one of the greatest philosophers of the 20th century. This is how Stephen Gambardella, a writer and philosopher, described the personality of Ludwig Wittgenstein on my podcast a couple of years ago. He kind of embodied that, that stoic viewpoint that no matter what happens, it will be okay. There's a fantastic biography of uh, Wittgenstein by a philosopher called Ray Monk. He talks about how Wittgenstein had almost a sense of invincibility. He embodied that Epictetan stoicism where, like, even if your head was chopped off, it would not hurt you because what you are is your soul. You're, you are not your body. You are not your reputation. Wittgenstein didn't care about his reputation. He, he was a real, you know, he didn't give an F about anything. Um, and that was really to his benefit because um, he's widely regarded as one of the most significant philosophers of all time and perhaps um, the most gifted philosopher of the 20th century. Everybody who has heard about Wittgenstein knows that his works are impenetrable. They are so hard to comprehend and to understand. It was for this reason I thought I'll get encountered with his life and understand how his life shaped his ideas and the other way around. The passages that I would like to focus on, they tell us about how we can become our better selves, our higher selves. The passages come not from Wittgenstein himself, but from a philosopher who inspired him. His name was Otto Weiniger, and he wrote a book called Sex and Character, which inspired Wittgenstein enormously. I've recently uh, wrote a couple of passages from uh, that book, and I wanted to share uh, with you what uh, Weiniger says. Every man must choose between consciousness and unconsciousness, between will and impulse, between love and sexuality. It is every man's ethical duty to choose the first of each of these pairs, and the extent to which he is able to do this is the extent to which he approximates to the very highest type of man, the genius. Essentially, Weininger gives a three key ingredients of what makes someone a genius, what makes someone reach the highest form of being, and that is the level of consciousness they have, the level and the power of will, and also the love, and love for uh, Weiniger wasn't the love to another person, but the love that you have to the divine self that you have, to the potential that you have in yourself. He says that it is the love that everything that you want to be, all that you ought to be, your truest, deepest, intelligible nature, free from all fetters of necessity, from all taint of faith. For Weiniger, it's not that we are born with soul, it's not that everyone has a soul, but that everyone can get a soul if they work on themselves. You get your soul by becoming more conscious, by training the power of your will, by gaining love to something that you can be instead of something that you already are right now. Weinecker lived in the 19th century. He lived in Vienna and he saw how the quality of person declines. And he explains this decline by saying that this decay is because of the rise of science and business and decline of art and music. He says that people chose pettiness over greatness. Pettiness triumphed 
of our greatness. And I thought that this is a really interesting explanation of why do we see a decline in the quality of human beings and the way we can regain it, return this power, return this strength in us is very individual and it consists of those three elements of getting more conscious, training our power of will and getting rid of our impulses and starting to love everything that we can become. I think the scariest thing in life is meeting the person you could have become, you could have been if you worked hard. That's the scariest thing in my opinion. And this is what drove Wittgenstein. Sad fact about uh, Weininger is that he committed a suicide in the same house where Beethoven died. And many people interpreted it as a, as a symbolic gesture that he realized that he cannot become a genius that he preached everyone should try to be. And because of the realization of this, he couldn't live anymore. He died at the age of 23, um, kind of a sad thing to say. I think that's pretty much it, everything that I wanted to say. Uh, this video is not scripted, but it is something that I had to share. And I hope that I'll find kindred spirits who share the same vision in life, you know, of desire of becoming your highest self. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope these was of value to you. If you did, um, you can also follow me on um, on my newsletter, which will be linked down below. I have a podcast where we discuss Wittgenstein with Stephen Gambardella, who is one of the top authors on the website called Medium, who writes about philosophy. Everything will be linked down in the description. And uh, thank you for all the nerds who clicked on this video. I hope there will be more of you and uh, we'll kind of establish deeper connection with each other. Um, I think I'm rambling now. Uh, I'll see you in the next one and Merry Christmas.